Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jasmine and I'm a beauty and lifestyle content creator on Instagram, TikTok, and right here on YouTube. So in today's video, I wanted to go ahead and share a few fragrances in my collection that smell luxurious. And I just love fragrances that just make you smell like a million bucks. So I wanna go ahead and share those with you guys. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So for the first fragrance on my list that definitely smells rich, that definitely smells luxurious, it's Oud Satin Mood X-Ray by MFK. And here is the bottle. So let me go ahead and give you a rundown of some of the notes in this fragrance. So we have Damask Rose, Turkish Rose, Oud, Vanilla, Violet, Amber, Cinnamon, and Geranium. Now I bought this almost two years ago and I fell in love with this fragrance when I tested it. It is an Oud bomb. I will go ahead and say that. So if you don't like Oud, this may not be for you, but I truly do love this. I do love Oud in my fragrances. And also this has violet in it, which makes it a bit powdery. So it kind of has like a baby powder kind of vibe, if you will. And it also is definitely immersed in that rose. But this is such a lovely fragrance. This is also very unisex. So it is great for men and women and this is amazing it is super strong so they do have the oud satin mood like regular eau de parfum and then they have the extra version this version is a bomb one spray two sprays max is all you need because you will choke people out but i would definitely say this smells like a nice rose you do get a lot of that rose you do get a lot of that amber that oud and that violet again because it is very powdery and as it dries down i do notice that that powdery note does kind of like taper off and you get so much more of that rose so much more of that like vanilla and it is so intoxicating this smells like money okay it smells luxurious it smells rich and fine this would definitely make a great evening fragrance so if you want to go out for date night you want to make a first impression this is definitely it this also does have long staying power if you spray one spray of this you will definitely smell it the next day guaranteed you'll smell it on your wrist wherever you spray it on your clothes it will stay on you for a long time so you definitely don't have to worry about this not lasting long this definitely does last long and i honestly won't say that it is blind by worthy at all i think i tested this on twisted lily and i'll go ahead and make sure that i link everything down below as well as samples and where you can get the samples but this was love at first sniff now, i'll be honest i don't wear this as much as i used to only because it is super strong and this isn't for everybody, so when I wear it, I think I do get a little self-conscious wondering if it's choking people out or what they think about it because again, it is a really strong fragrance, but this is super, super sexy. Like, not everyone will love it, only a particular few, I'm sure, but if you can get your hands on this and if you can try it, it is super sexy, super luxurious. It is everything. Again, one max spray is all you need, but this is Oud and Mood Extra. It definitely gives luxury rich vibes. So for the next fragrance that smells super sexy and luxurious, it is Guidance by Emma Wash. And here is the bottle. So for the notes on this fragrance, we have pear, hazelnut, libanum, osmanthus, rose, saffron, jasmine, sandalwood, vanilla, akigala wood, ambergris and labdanum. Now, if you've watched my other videos, I rave about Guidance a lot and I honestly feel like this is the number one fragrance in my collection. I'm kind of almost surprised I didn't start with this in this video, but this smells so luxurious and that is actually a compliment that I got when I first wore this. The lady said, you smell so luxurious and this definitely does give that. So this fragrance is super, super complex. You do get a lot of that saffron, so it is very sharp. Again, this is a heavy, 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 heavy hitter. One spray, two sprays max is all you need because it is super strong. But you do get a lot of that pear in the opening. I would say even a lot of that vanilla on the dry down and a lot of that saffron. But this is such a unique blend. Super rich, super luxurious, very feminine. It is great for evening wear. So I do like to wear this on date nights, on special occasions like weddings and things like that. Because this is a star and people will smell you when you wear this. Like nonstop compliments on this this is super super good and if you like Delina Exclusif the same perfumer actually made Guidance by Amouage so I'm not saying that they smell similar but you may like it because to me 
they kind of do remind me of each other. They're not dupes or anything, I wouldn't say that, but they're kind of in the same vein to me and to my nose. Again, not a dupe. Again, they don't smell alike. That's not what I'm saying at all. But to me, I can kind of tell that the same perfumer worked on these because they kind of have similarities to them, if you will. Again, this is very smooth, very creamy. You do have a lot of that pear, that rose, that saffron, that vanilla on the dry down. It packs a punch. It definitely will last you 12 plus hours. This is a luxurious, rich fragrance. If you're walking in the room and you look rich, this is gonna make you smell rich, okay? This is the icing on the cake on a nice outfit. I cannot rave about this enough. Again, as I say in all of my videos, perfume is subjective, so not everyone will like this. It won't be everyone's cup of tea. There's people who actually don't like it, but for me, I love this fragrance. I will buy it again and again, and I kind of try to save it so I'm not wearing it too much, but this smells so good to me. So this is Guidance by Amouage. I'll go ahead and link some samples down below for you guys as well. So the third fragrance that smells luxurious is Arabian Sanka by Montal. And here is the bottle. So for the notes, we have saffron, bergamot, oud, rose, tonka bean, sugar cane, amber, white musk, and oak moss. Now, I'll never forget when I first sampled this. Oh, it was love at first sniff, okay? This is incredible. It is sugary. It's sweet, but not like overly gourmand because again, I'm not really like a heavy, heavy gourmand person, but you definitely do get a lot of that vanilla, that sugar cane, that amber, that oud. This is yummy. It's delicious. It is everything. This again will make a very good fragrance for evening wear. When I think of like rich, luxurious scents, I think of like being the star of the show at a nice dinner, you know, a nice outing. And Arabian's Tonka is definitely that. Again, just like those other two I mentioned, this packs a punch as well. So you definitely don't want to overspray this, but this is so, so sweet. You do get a lot of that vanilla on the dry down and it is seductive. This definitely will pair well with any other vanilla fragrances that you might have in your collection and I personally do like pairing this with Delina exclusive. I thought someone mentioned it on TikTok and they honestly do have similar notes that just vibe really well. If you know anything about Delina exclusive that has a lot of rose in it and these pair really really well so if you're looking for like a good you know fragrance combo this definitely does pair well with that but this is super super luxurious super sexy. I feel like anything with oud in it really does give you that like luxury vibe. When I visited Dubai two years ago it was Oud Central and I was obsessed. Everyone smelled like money and Oud and fragrances definitely will give you like that rich luxury vibe to me anyway. But this smells superb. Again, it has a lot of that vanilla, that sugar cane, that tonka bean. It is unisex so men can wear this as well and a lot of men do. And I love this. This is a beast. Again, you don't want to overdo it with sprays, but this is definitely one of those luxurious, rich, sexy, sexy scents. If you want to smell like money, go ahead and get you Arabian's Tonka, and I'll go ahead and link that down below. Now for the next fragrance on my list that smells luxurious, that smells like money, it is La Capitale by Georgia. Here is the bottle. So for the notes in La Capitale, we have strawberry, caramel, peach, labdanum, leather, saffron, amber, ginger, rose, bourbon, vanilla, and benzoin. Now this is super sexy and complex. You do get a lot of that strawberry and caramel when you first spray this and on the dry down it does smell like vanilla, but it's complex because of that leather and that saffron. And while this doesn't say that it has oud in it, I do get like an oud note from it personally, but this one is more on the, I guess, sweeter side, not gourmand, but more like a mellow sweet, if you will. This is definitely a luxurious fragrance and the bottle says it all as well. It is very fruity, again, very leathery and you get a lot of that saffron. It is super complex and almost hard to describe, but for me, the best way to describe it again is just super fruity. You get a lot of that caramel, again, that leather, that saffron and that vanilla. This is one of those that you would have to try for yourself. I wouldn't say that any of these fragrances at all are a safe blind buy. This one isn't, but I loved this when I first tried it. I would say that this could be unisex, 
some men may wear this or may like this it's not ultra feminine and it's not like super manly either i would say it's right in the middle so a man can get away with wearing this but it is super 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 sexy one of those fragrances that will be great for evening as well for date night and things like that i don't know why all of these fragrances just remind me of like date nights being out at night being out at a gala like a nice event you know what i mean this is definitely one of those so this is la capitale by zhirzhoff and i'll go ahead and link that down below for you guys as well now for the last fragrance on my list this is actually a surprise that i'm like throwing this in here but for good reason and it is gentle fluidity gold by mfk and here is the bottle so for the notes in this fragrance we have vanilla amber musk woodsy notes juniper berries nutmeg and coriander the reason why this may be a shocker to be on the list of luxurious and feminine fragrances is because this is definitely one of the lighter fragrances out of the ones i've mentioned it is super dainty super like airy if you will and it definitely has that very fresh vanilla the juniper berries and this kind of make it a little sweet but this it's super feminine, super airy. I am in love with the vanilla dry down on this, okay? I am obsessed with this. I actually paired this with Delina Exclusive last weekend where I got the compliment on my fragrance and those two together are amazing, okay? So if you have those two fragrances, definitely go ahead and try that combo. But this is definitely one of your lighter fragrances compared to the other ones I've mentioned. It is super light, super gentle. Now, when I think of rich and luxurious fragrances, I usually think of ones that can like pack a punch that might have oud in it, things like that. And the reason why this is on the list is because it does give rich and luxurious without trying, without overdoing it. Like some of these other fragrances that I mentioned are really out there in your face, like it packs a punch, but this is like, hey, I'm here. I would say that this is like the quiet luxury of fragrances, if you will. It's understated. Someone may not know what it is when they smell it, but it smells good. You know what I mean? It smells luxurious. It's super understated and sexy and elegant all on its own. And this definitely needs a space on your shelf. So if you are building your, you know, perfume collection, if you haven't tried it, definitely go ahead and pick up Gentle Fluidity Gold. It is amazing. Oh, it's like the perfect feminine vanilla. Now, as far as longevity, I would say that the longevity on this is decent. It's not like crazy or it doesn't last as long as some of the others, but I still smell it on my clothes at least at the end of the day. I don't really smell it on my skin or anything like that, but it is so worth it. Again, I'll go ahead and link that down below for you guys. And that is it for today's video. These are some of the fragrances that I believe are just super luxurious, that smell rich, that are giving that rich auntie vibe. Go ahead and let me know down in the comments below if you guys have ever tried these what you think of them and i'll go ahead and link the samples and everything down below for you guys as well also go ahead and give me some recommendations what perfumes do you guys have or what perfumes have you tried that are just giving that rich luxurious vibe i'm always wanting to add some more perfumes to my collection so definitely go ahead and give me some recommendations down below don't forget to like this video subscribe if you haven't and i'll see you guys in the next video